<laughs> is it broken? <laughs> I was going to say it's healthy, but I don't know. I guess maybe I should get it checked out. Uh, you yeah. probably should. That, that's the, the general consensus this morning. Big Buddha hanging out, showing us how everybody can get heart healthy. Yeah. Hey, B. Oh, hey. Wow. Was, hey, how you <laughs> doing? Yeah. You weren't wow. expecting that. It's not Valentine's Day yet, <laughs> It's not Valentine's it's Day not yet. It's not even Friday night. <laughs> yeah. If you're singing Telegram, happy Valentine's Day. I was going to uh, say, keep it above the waist, but maybe we could go even a little farther. No, it's <laughs> still okay. <laughs> what are all those things? What do you have hooked to you? Well, we'll get to this a little bit, but I was just telling uh, Dr. Moosey that we'll probably need to stop meeting like this. Uh, a year ago, we met like this with my shirt off, and it, it's become a tradition almost, right? Yes, it has. <laughs> For the fun, we'll yeah. keep checking I, your I apologize for, <laughs> for you, Doc. Uh, but so we've already established that when you come to the fair on Saturday, after your health assessment, if you get four or more points because of health issues or family history, then you get an EKG. Can you tell me what does the EKG tell you? I, I just had one, and what is it telling you, and what's the hope for people to get? What kind of information? And the reason for putting the health assessment is some people are so healthy it's very unlikely we'll find something wrong with their heart and therefore they don't necessarily need a screening electrocardiogram. But for those who have enough risk that it puts them at a score of four or above, then it's good to get an electrocardiogram to find out exactly what they are. We learn lots of things from the electrocardiogram okay. about your heart. One thing we learn is about your rhythm, to see if your rhythm is normal. And luckily, just like last year, your rhythm is pretty normal. Anything all, different from last year to this year that you could still tell off the bat? The only thing that I see is your heart rate is a little bit slower, which means that you might be exercising more. Uh, a yeah. fit heart is slower, and so that's mm -hmm. good, so we could tell that from this. But, but Dan, the doctor's saying that you don't want it to go too slow, that it doesn't beat at all, because that means, well, you're not alive. Yeah, one, <laughs> one beat per day is not that's right. So another yeah. thing we can tell is whether your heart is too slow or too fast, whether you might be a need for a pacemaker. So it's at a, is it at a good pace? You said it's slower, but that's a good pace where it's yeah, at right now? Yeah, a good pace for a healthy, exercising person. Okay. And so that's excellent. Other things we can tell is whether your heart is beginning to enlarge, whether you've had a heart attack in the past, whether you have certain, certain types of arrhythmias that might be dangerous for you. And so lots of information from these just little electrocardiographic, uh, electrical it, signals that come from your heart. So now, now the we, there is one heart, but there are a lot of uh, places where you're trying to get signals because the whole body is That's right, because we look at all sorts of different areas. We can tell whether it's the front of the heart or the back of the heart or the top part of the heart based on which of these leads we look at. And also, that comes from looking at all over around the heart. So we look everywhere we can with the electrocardiogram. Okay. And well, it's inexpensive and non-invasive. We don't have to stick you or anything to get it, so it's a very nice... Uh, well, in this, this we case would be free because uh, you're, you're coming to the fair on Saturday. That's so right. If you have a help. score of four or above, it's yeah. free, and I recommend you come get one. Right. Well, Doc, always a pleasure to see you. And I'll be there reading some of yeah. them personally. So. I, I would love to see you uh, with a shirt on for one of these days. But, but for now, because we're trying to help people out, I don't mind seeing you once a year without my shirt on. That's great. You look good. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Thank you. We got a healthy breakfast idea coming up next, so don't go anywhere. Give a preview of the Family Heart Fair happening this weekend. All the details will be put on our website, Fox 13 Now. Dot com. Dan, next time you say you have a big heart, you might need to see Dr. Moosey. Having a big heart is not always a good thing. You don't want an yeah. enlarged heart, yeah. No, no, an enlarged heart, yes. Just so long <laughs> as you have a heart. Was it, well, <laughs> thank you, Tin Man. You know, he looks like he's part of the collective. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I can't he's think regenerating.